<laughs> You'd rather stop playing games? Excellent. How do I like the remaster? It's perfect. It's exactly what a remaster should be. It's exactly what a port of a, of a Final Fantasy game should be. True to form, exactly like FF8 in all mechanical ways, but with a nice little uh, polished paintbrush over all the visuals. Maybe it's not perfect visually, but it's damn a hell of a lot better than anything else we've ever gotten. And honestly, anything too over the top would make it a remake and not a remaster. <clears throat> Play it on Switch. Because portability, why would you want it anywhere else, honestly? Uh, well, I would say this, Patches. Square has gone on record this year, very, very recently, saying they want to digitize their entire library. So, well, at the very least, we'll get ports of Chrono Cross and Parasite Eve. I don't know if that'll they'll actually accomplish that goal, but they've gone on record saying that they want to do that. So, hey. Triple try it on the go, exactly. Uh, I want to say... Can I get around it over here? I can't remember. No, because that goes to... Yeah, I gotta go. Oh, I don't need to... Yeah, I do need to go around it. Don't give me a part of Parasite 2. I hear some people have some issue with that game. I've never played it. I've only played the first one, and that one is a great game. I personally think Switch is the way to go just because of portability, but PS4 for trophies. So it depends on what you're after. If you wanna if you wanna plat it, Endy's Endy is the type that wants to plat everything, and I totally respect that. I'm I'm about platinum in some games, but I gotta be really into it. Um But I'm more about the functionality, you know, I'm more about like like Oh, hello. I'm I'm more about like uh the practicality of it, right? So I want something portable because that that gives it additional functionality Why is this the best FF port or remaster? Because it is 100% Final Fantasy 8 in all accounts except for prettier So it is it is it plays and feels and acts like Final Fantasy 8 But it looks a hell of a lot better Don't kill Squall. I want to blow things up He's dead. Yep, I knew it. So we don't have any kind of change mechanics or menu lag or anything. It just is FF8. It's just FF8. The end. And is is nicer looking. That's all we wanted. That's all we wanted. I should make some lives. I should get a life. Can I even refine life? Kiragas, Kira zombie, zombie, Kira's, death, Kira's. Seems I can't get a life, I know. Are you trying to create life? Yes, I'm trying to play God. Uh, redoing hand-drawn stuff, Gum Gumby, is really rough, dude. That's a remake, man. You, you, like, you, you can't just, like, redraw everything. That's basically remaking the game, you know? Uh, that, that would be a really big project. 
I don't see that ever happening, but I would like it too. Uh, although I'd also just be fine with, I'd also just be fine with, uh, a port to the Switch, you know? Oh, okay. So I feel something huge nearby. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> uh oh, 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 he was talking about the garden. Whatever, take a look. Uh, hopefully if they port FFT to the Switch and stuff that we get the PlayStation version, or at the very least the, 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 the other one, the PSP one, but not the iOS one. I don't want, there's always audio issues with iOS ports or menu lag or something. Necessary. What? I didn't. I didn't freaking talk about the hot dogs this time. Come on. I think they learned a lot with Chrono Trigger. I think they learned a lot. I think they learned that when we want HD ports and remasters, we want it true to form. We want it just like the original game. And we got that with this remaster and people are still complaining about it. I, it's like, it's so aggravating. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. Square, just do your thing. Give us our direct to, to, to experience ports like this. Ignore, ignore all the haters for this game, please, Square Enix. I, 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 I beg you. This is exactly the kind of port that we needed. Final Fantasy V and VI need to be completely d deleted from Steam. Those, those are not what we want from a port. <laughs> Well, Chrono, when when I feel the integrity of my favorite franchise is, is, is in peril, hell yeah, I'm gonna complain about people complaining because this is exactly what we want from HD remasters. And I'll be damned if I let a bunch of entitled assholes ruin it for me. There's no single true legitimate complaint except for some minor nuances here and there. That's it. Like you can't, you don't have a uh, 360 deg degree movement on the analog. You only have eight, eight directional, which is fine. It's not even that big of a deal. It's a minor gripe. Little kid just mastered Fireaga magic. Jesus, dude. Careful there, buddy. 
Yeah, Trials of Mana is a full-on remake. It's also not 60, it's 50, unless you're in Canada, then it's more. They're, they're completely redoing the game to be basically a brand new game. Of course, it's going to be more than, uh, like, whatever, $5 or $20. Yeah, but yeah, it's just, you gotta understand, like, rema like a remake of a game is gonna be more expensive. That's why Final Fantasy VII Remake is being released at a full price of a game. So here, here's a prime example of what a lot of people are complaining about that's actually somewhat legitimate, but to me, I kind of like this. So you can see that the, the images, the, the people here, they're, they're part of the background. They're just 2D images that are part of the background. Now you might be thinking, wow, that's really hokey. Well, it's not, because this is exactly the way it was in the PlayStation version of the game. In the PlayStation version, they couldn't handle this many models on screen. So what they did was they kind of cheated a little bit and put them as part of the background. So you still have the 2D pre-rendered background exactly the same amount of memory as any other 2D pre-rendered background, but then they kind of you know, made it look exactly like the models at the time. Basically, by the way, guys, if you're curious what the PlayStation version of the game looks like, there it is. Those 2D, 2D models, that's what the PlayStation version of the game looked like. Look at that. That's what PlayStation looked like. Versus this. Versus this guy. This guy versus this guy. That's what PlayStation looked like. This is what the remaster looks like. So you get to see firsthand in the game what the difference is. And in my opinion, I appreciate that they kept it exactly the way it is instead of introducing new models here because it is Final Fantasy VIII. It is not, they're not trying to reinvent anything. They're not trying to change it up. They're just giving you the same game and a better skin. Exactly, yes. Yeah, that's exactly what game development is about. Especially in the, the retro eras where uh, performance was so like you you had you had to you had to cut corners so many ways uh in order to like uh get a game to be able to run smoothly you know and if you wanted to do cool things like this with like a bunch of models on screen you needed to do clever things and that's what it is but like of course it's gonna look awkward when you have these updated models but I appreciate it, personally. I appreciate the, the effort of keeping it true to form. Oh, I need to give him my ring, yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> because a 2D background image, which is what you see back there. So in Final Fantasy VII, this, Final Fantasy VII was the first game to do this. They did this really clever thing to save memory by making every background 2D pre-rendered images. So you're walking on top of a picture, on top of a flat picture, but it's, art, it's, it's drawn in a way to make it look like it's a 3D environment that you're walking on. So basically, they're, they're like, the way you move around this field is, is incredibly cleverly made to make it look like you're walking around on a, on a 3D field, but you're not, you're on a 2D image. And so when you, when you replace one 2D image with another 2D image of the same size, you're not reducing 
performance at all. It's still the same performance. So by creating a 2D image with people on it, you can create text events on that image to make it seem like you're talking to those NPCs while still keeping them from hogging up all the resources. So you can make it look like you have a lot of characters on screen. In the PlayStation version, you don't notice that. But with this, with the um, with the enhanced visuals of the, of the main characters and everything, you obviously notice it. But I appreciate that they left it alone. They, they did like, look, this is the game. This is the original game. They didn't change anything. It's actually 2.5D. We confuse 2.5D with something like, like Double Dragon or something. But that's, that's essentially what we're doing. We're moving on a 2D image to make it look 3D. That's 2.5D. So it is 2.5D. Why does the music sound off? Why is the music off? Did we get the mini glitch? Did we? Oh, man, did we get the mini glitch? Yeah, I heard about this glitch too. No point in going this way, why not? So there is a glitch that going around that if you save the game and, and turn it off and restart the game, you can get a, a mini version of, a, of the, the OST. Yeah, and it's, uh, hopefully they fix it soon, but I hopefully we're not locked into mini OST. It's kind of disappointing. You know, I I, 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 re I reluctantly closed Final Fantasy VIII last night to play uh, DQ Builders with Finn last night. And so, there we go. What's up, Chubbin? Die, Renoa! Oh man, she lived this time. Glitches happen, Connor. Glitches happen. It'll be fixed. Every game that's ever released has had a glitch. We can blame Finn for me closing the game, yeah. Dude, don't be an ass. I don't think I changed over my my GFs. So yeah, if you save in certain places and uh, turn the game off and then restart it, you can get a MIDI uh, MIDI file glitch. I was hoping to not get it because I was going to keep the game playing. Like, just put it on, on a delay or like a sleep mode or whatever. Nah, it'll be fine. We'll just have to, it'll take a little bit longer. I'd like to know if there's a way to repair the glitch though. That'd be nice to know if there is a way to fix it. Uh, it'll either be updated or fixed automatically as we go through the game, yeah. I think it has to do with level spectacle. Don't know. I don't know. It's a it's a new release game, so we don't know. I mean, I haven't seen anything.
Whoops, I didn't want to push an L. But yeah, as far as like the the 2D the 2D brief backgrounds having the NPCs just the way they are, I really like that how they kept it true like this. They didn't they didn't try to force a change. They didn't reinvent the wheel. They kept the 2D the the, the sprites 2D as they were in the original. You just never noticed in the original. Really really kind of neat little touch. How you can see how they kind of bent the rules a little bit to make it look nicer in the PlayStation version. I could try saving it and turning the game off and seeing if it resets itself, but... Let's see if resetting the game works. Nah, that's all right. Let's just get through this part. Selfie and Quizzes. Quizzes isn't there. Oh, there she is. Hi. I think Selfie has my stuff, so Selfie should take cells. Uh, it's possible, yeah. That, like, uh, because this is built from the PC version of the game, uh, it's possible that the, like they were, they were, those files are still in there and, and are kind of causing issues. But again, bugs happen in, in games. Like, that's fine. Like, it's, it's whatever. As long as it fixes itself or gets updated over time, then it doesn't matter. Could be that too, yeah. Like how the how the the game points to what file to play, yeah. Right, all the CG scenes have been nicely polished. I I, I love how it's just the scene just color corrected and smoothed out on some of the curves. Yep, they fixed the musical issues with FF7 on Steam. What's up, dude? How's it going, buddy? Oh, well, see ya! <laughs> see ya! So technically Odin isn't the GF. He works differently. Uh, you don't equip him. He just kind of comes out whenever he feels like it. It's uh, it's based off of certain things like um, how much you run away or how low HP you are, your, your threat level or whatever, like your danger level, stuff like that.
Uh, I can't really do anything else with Ultima right now, so let's just do that. Yeah, the whoever won it was just like not sure what to name it, so they're like not sure. Perfect name. Almost every single complaint for this game is 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 completely unjustifiable. It's like such minor gripes that that are just irrelevant. Oops, I think I needed to talk to the kid first. Like, the game doesn't give me a hand job when I put it on pause. <sighs> but it plays and feels exactly like Final Fantasy VIII. No, there's like a window. There's like a sky window thing, see? A new set of dices? You mean dice? They're just dice when they're plural. This is what college would look like. Nice. <laughs> Whoa, selfie with her selfie stick. Better watch out. The MIDI form of this track isn't even that bad, to be honest. It's a little hokey, but it'll be fixed. Yep, all this time Renoa's just hanging around, especially after getting, like, rammed a few times, too. get the mini bug but hey it happens uh pc ports nash just happens well working with pc versions and stuff Run away now, are you, you little bitch? Huh? Old lady doctors just like pushing him around, like, huh? You're not gonna run away, are you? Little bitch. Yeah, that's right. You heard what I said. So there's gonna be a part coming up soon where we're going to really notice the difference between this version and the PlayStation version. And it's, it's going to be as exactly just like the PlayStation version, which is very cleverly done, but it's going to look awkward with the new models. And that's when we run across the battlefield when we collide into the other garden. The entire background is going to be 2D, but like in motion. And that's going to be very important to know that like, that's exactly like the PlayStation version, but it's going to look a little bit awkward with the updated models. And the fact that they didn't change it, well, <laughs> they probably really couldn't, to be honest. They would have to completely remake the game instead of port it, which is what this is, an HD remaster, aka a port with a with a with a prettier skin put on. So that's what what you know, that's what a port is, that's what HD remaster is, that's what a port is. But it's gonna look really awkward when we get to that scene. 